Hi, good morning, everybody. Hello there, very can, good morning to you. It's just can, gone six o'clock. Can you imagine you and I getting a call from the news editor of the day when we were at home in the afternoon and saying, no, I'm and not taking that, that. No, 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 breaking news, leave it. I'm not, on, not until six. And also, Talk so to me when then. we get called, it's usually to say, actually, we need you to come in because <coughs> someone else can cause yeah. controversy. I, I love to... So wonderful adventure, mm. and I did at one point. Most romantic. <laughs> Didn't get hit, fortunately, okay. but, right. you know, I would think that in certain circumstances might be appropriate, but when it's knife offenders, no. sex offenders, why there's an issue with finding places for them, presumably. Yeah, and prison has to level yes, yeah. crimes. Then, then sometimes I yeah. think people base their opinions on um, the police and how things are going by their personal experiences yeah. of oh, crime, yeah. and it's yeah. these ones that are sort of going to directly affect them. And if they think that justice isn't being served, that's when Absolutely. people, I think, can't then be across every crime, can they? No, well, and touched this morning and sort of saying, well, hold on, you know, they've made a big deal about doing things differently, not putting up tax, restoring trust, not much of it yet, well, have we? We've seen sort of excuses about, oh, it's the last lot that caused all this. Yeah, and I it's also think, and he's given a free pass to Downing Street. A lot of money to the Labour Half Party, million. including... Well, I haven't got it anymore. You should never have been given... Got got today, staggering rise mm. in anxiety among children. There's a lot mm. of talk about children's mental health and won't come in. As, so, as um, happened last week, and I can only apologise. Yes, only apologize. as has happened before. Um, we're just hearing there about Sven Joran Eriksson. Of course, you know, the news happened yesterday. Uh, a sad loss. And I think, though, when you look at the tributes that have poured in... They've given him a good send -off. ...over him, really we knew we were saying goodbye. Thank you for always being the first Absolutely. foreign manager, which at the time... Yeah, he'll be, he'll be sadly missed. He will but, be. Um, as I say, a, a very good send-off, and we'll be coming to that a bit later in the show. Keep your tributes coming in. Yeah. But uh, in, the, main, in uh, the meantime, leading the news this morning is that Keir Starmer is going to bring back trust to British politics in a, street from, a speech from Downing Street this morning. That's what he's vowed to do. And he'll also tell the country that things will get worse before they get better. Yeah, that's been heavily flagged, isn't it? Uh, well, the PM is going to be speaking from the Rose Garden at number 10, uh, which, writing in the Times this morning, he says, became a symbol for the rot at the heart of 14 years of Conservative government, which he says he is going to root out, but it might take him, he says, 10 years to do that. Hmm. Well, our chief correspondent... It will. That is our top story. Coming up, we're going to be discussing that further with Andrew Pearce and Kevin Maguire. They are back. We'll get their thoughts on what we've heard about Keir Starmer's speech. And after eight o'clock as well, this morning we're going to be joined by the chair of the Labour Party, Ellie Reeves. First, Marvreen's here with the rest.